Hello everyone, welcome back, it's that OG. And here we are again with Pocket Mirror Part 2. Let's see where this goes, because this looks great. I already showed you and talked about how much I love this pumpkins, and I am pumped to continue playing. If I am able to. Okay. Seems like that was not correct. Or I figured out how it can run. But now I need to figure out what to do here. Um. Oh. Planted a sacrifice for those in dismay. Stolen by the just child display. Right and left taken by the hand. Our request is your demand. Wait, what? Planted a sacrifice for those in dismay. You know, you know that when you're reading, that moment when you're reading, and you just don't take in the words, you are just reading, but you don't understand the words, I'm in that moment right now. Blinded a sacrifice for those in dismay, stolen by the just childless play, right and left taken by the hand, our request is your demand. Oh, thank you for opening the door for me. Good to know that I didn't really have to do much apart from reading that. Ooh. Ooh. Sacrificial candles. So I on the floor and the case. Ooh. Story time? Story time. I want to see it once more. That's pretty. Although the eyes are unsettling. There was once a certain illusion I saw in a mirror I once knew so well. There were a pair of crimson colored irises, accompanied by only their reflection. The two eyes remained still, not once blinking in the short amount of time they had stayed, staring directly at me, and no one but me. All I can remember from the day I was born are a few memories, forged encounters which I have never experienced in my forgotten existence, recollections which didn't belong to me. In all honesty, in all honesty, who am I? To whom do these memories belong, I wonder? They are certainly not mine, and yet, here they dwell, inside this small room where I sit. Ever reminded of these fabricated crimson irises, which were played once and again, a thousand times has such a memory been showcased inside my small mind. And yet, I still can't reach any conclusion other than my complete existence has always been and always will remain controlled by those same eyes. Living in the small room, I remember a dream I once had, a tremendously vivid one. A red carpet had been laid before my feet, which guided me towards a single opening on a darkened wall, one that seemed to advance further and further with every step I took. In an instant, I was thrown into a world I did not know existed. On the other side of the gap, I found a reflection. My reflection! Silky brown hair covered my back, braided into thick braids on each side of my head, which beautifully framed my cherry red eyes. So pretty. Standing before me was a little girl dressed in fancy, frilly clothing. Who was this person I had never seen? Could it be me? I recall lifting my small hand and touching my own cheek. Such a gesture engraved itself into my memory. The soft texture of my skin, the free and effortless movement I had made to raise my hand made me realize I could move. Such a strange sensation of empowerment filled my soul and body, leading me into a feeling of excitement which led my imagination astray. I was... not only was I real, I was alive! The little girl reflected on the mirror with me, and I could breathe and leave. Life dwelled inside my body, and yet, as I turned my head to look outside, the same light which had picked into my small room had blinded me once again, leaving me in my old room where I stayed, deprived of sen senses, deprived of a sensation I once knew as life. I stayed. Please, show me the light. I want to see it once more. I want to live. Oh, that turned sad. Such a sad story with. Oh, no, 
no, no need to cry. So it's all good. Why don't you? Why don't you show yourself before you start crying creepily? Oh, doctors have yet to find a way to successfully transplant an eyeball. The optic nerve that connects the eye to the brain is too sensitive to be safely reconstructed. It's a nerve. They do tend to be sensitive. Uh, oh, there's blinking and a glass shard. Ah, uh, okay. Fun thing. Fun psychology fact. When she said that she brought the stickers in the corner, each one carrying different color eyeballs. Oh, acquired a pumpkin charm. That seems more interesting than my psychology fact, to be honest. Anyway, um, yeah, when she said that she looked at herself in the mirror and she moved and touched her face and realized it was her reflection, that's something you can do with like little children and animals to see if they recognize themselves in a mirror and not think of the reflection as another person. Just to uh, experiment on the psychology, just paint a red dot on their foreheads. And when they look at themselves in the mirror, if they recognize themselves as an entity, and they recognize that the person they're seeing in the mirror are th themselves, they will go and touch themselves because they realize they have a dot. If they do not think of themselves as a single entity, they will think of the other person reflected in the mirror as someone else and will go and touch the person in the mirror before, like, understanding. Like, they won't understand that the dot is in their head and not in another person's head. So that's a fun fact for you. That could be distracted from the game. In each jar floats half of an unusually big eyeball stain in the water with gelatinous fle flesh and blood. That's sweet and descriptive thinking. Pumpkin. <laughs> That's so cute. A knife for an eye. Is is that it? Oh, there used to be a mirror in this room, though it shattered long ago. Do you mean that mirror? Hmm. Did you know mirrors reflect light pretty well? Yeah. If only there were enough shards. Why are you so happy? Um, can I can I do something about this? Also, um, should I? I'm gonna say. Oh no, I can't say. Two charms. Creature. I want to see the light once again. I think it's someone rather than something. Someone who's very sad. Um, well, mirrors reflect light. Oh. Yes. Keep going. Don't use it to kill yourself. Maybe I'm too pessimistic. that good? It's not doing anything. Come on, play with it. Oh, a big splatter of blood stains the wall, small and gelatinous pieces of flesh to hang to it. That's still too descriptive. Um, Mr. Pumpkin, The window is too dirty, the light barely gets through. Yeah, I guess that's not good. Mm. Okay. I'm trying to do my best here. Um, maybe I should I shouldn't have brought it there. I'm not going there. Hmm. Oh well, it's not going to reflect any light there. I should have brought it here, but there's actually light. Uh, we'll see. God, why am I so bad at video games? Oh, oh no, I thought it had closed. It sounded like it was closed. Oh. We'll get a second chance. Um. Okay, you don't want the glass shark, so I'm not gonna bother. Oh. 
I just need one more mirror shard. Um, do you happen to have one? Mm. Oh, maybe it's in the other room. Yeah, I know mirrors reflect light pretty well. If I go in back again, do I has the shard moved? No, it's still there. Wonderful. I apologize for the lag again. My, as I said in the last video, my laptop is doing the best it can. But alas, it's not always enough. Do you have something new to say on my Let's go to this room. Oh, this one looks much nicer. Hello, pumpkin. Drawing is based upon perspective, something which I don't have, which is nothing more than a thorough knowledge of the function of the eye. Hmm, aren't I smart? Yes, you are, my darling. You are the smartest pumpkin ever. Do have a star? What do I do with the pumpkin charms, though? Oh, okay. Yeah. Rebirth, 1785, the painting of an elderly woman surrounded by thorns. I feel like a character in Animal Crossing. When you're like expecting the painting thread give you, you're like, is this real, is this not? Fate, 1655, grasping the dagger bird into her chest. A lady sinks to the bottom of the sea. Poor girl, that's all you have to say. Just, poor girl, it sucks, but it happens. Oh well, so many pumpkins. Did you know pumpkin flowers are edible? No, I did not. Our flowers are the reproductive organs of vegetable, not vegetables, of plants. So, no, I'm not gonna eat your reproductive organs. Thank you very much. Delusion, 1760. The painting of an important looking female aristocrat surrounded by various young girls desperately clinging to her. That's alive. Punishment, 1538. A girl uses her own two hands. As her hair burns in crimson place. Oh. Salvation, 1722, the painting of a woman lying in bed surrounded by representations of death and demons. Hmm, isn't like that every night though? Satisfaction, 1800s, a woman sits on a throne, wrapping her hands around an expressionless small child's neck. Game of Thrones, oh, season, I don't even know, spoilers. Who cried, pumpkin charm. What do I do with this? Do I get to charm the pumpkins? A dim light overflows through the window. I wouldn't mind having my inside skipped out as long as I could become a yummy pumpkin pie. It's just... Yeah, same. I'm worried about you. It's just like if you were to go up to Hannibal, I love pumpkin. Pumpkin soup, not pumpkin pie. If you go, were to go up to Han and be like, Oh, I wouldn't mind if you cut out my intestines as long as you make some delicious hot dogs with it. He'd probably be insulted that you asked him to make hot dogs. So he'd kill you and make literally anything but hot dogs out of you. Retribution 1598. You're reunited in a golden room by a smiling woman witnessed the murder of a newborn child by decapitation. Ah, oh, yeah, the good old times. Such a horrible painting. Wait, what? No! Knob by Lincoln Park 1633. Skeleton's hands reach out to a lady dancing passionately amongst the fate. Oh, that's macabre. That's a topic in literature and paintings and music, and that's all I remember from a literature class. It's been painted over. Well, someone thinks themselves an artist. Is it one of the pumpkins? I bet it's one of the pumpkins. The light overflows the portrait. Bridal Virgin. Was there any other kind of bride? 1666. A ghostly pale girl sits in a well carved wooden chair wearing nothing but an airy white veil. That looks like a ghost. Rightful Dominance. 1543. I see where this is going. Various women engage in a heated celebration, dancing over the corpses of numerous men. You go, girl. Girl power. Destiny. 1843. Grasping the dagger bird in her chest. A lady sinks to the bottom of the sea with a mischievous grin on her lips. Just... Oh, do I have to run? Hmm. 
I'm gonna leave that be. Oh, that I bet that is us. She's so cute. Although she does have quite a creepy expression there. Sisterly, 1848, the painting of a confident woman. Such a pretty lady. Is she our sister? She does look. She looks a bit creepy though. Like she's very pretty, but she looks a bit weird. Um, I'm gonna touch the blue. Murky dark water drips endlessly from beneath the frame of the painting. Hey, mm. uh. hey, little girl, get back here! Huh? It's all you have to say to a painting talking to you? Excuse me, miss. Yes. Can you please show me what you've got there? What should I do? I am not. <sighs> She's gonna take it from us if we give it to her. Okay, let's risk a bad end. Don't give her the pocket mirror. I'm sorry, but I can't let you have my pocket mirror. I see. It's all right then. I'm sorry to have troubled you. Though I would still love to take a closer look at that marvelous mirror of yours. Um. <laughs> we had a mirror with us the whole damn time, and I just went to his room to get another mirror. Um. Be right back, lady. I'm gonna go and make the smart decision I should have made five, ten minutes ago. God. It's locked. F you, painting lady. I'm fuck me for being so stupid. God. Pocket mirror is obviously a mirror. I thought it was like a pocket watch or something. Like, I was thinking we had a pocket watch and not a pocket mirror. And I was like, oh, where are we gonna get another mirror from? Have you changed your mind? Yes. Alright, but please just be careful. Oh, so cheerful. Yeah, don't give out your pocket mirror to strangers. Oh, we're taking this. Thank you very much. Oh, I f***ed up so badly. Please give it back. How far are you willing to go? I will do anything. Just please give it back. How generous of you. I'll gladly take you up on that offer then. I'm sick and tired of being stared at. I command you to take that woman's left eye if you want to believe. Resist, and we shall take yours instead. What do I do? What are you even talking about? Can you give me my mirror? <sighs> this woman. This one, the one that I can't save anymore because you have my pocket mirror. That one. <sighs> yeah, you don't have anything you need to say, do you? Whose woman am I taking? Is it you? You. Um, recreation. I think that that's that's what pro lifers think that happens when you get an abortion. It's a whole ritual. It's been painted over, so I guess it's not that one. Um, which woman? Oh, that woman. I don't like that whispering. Um. Okay, um, seems like I have no other choice. I am sorry, and as much as I hate this, I'm gonna put you right out. I'm so sorry. Curse you, Annalise. Game over, and I'm back, guys. I am the queen of getting bad ends. I love playing Antony games, and I get every single back. And I have to always 
look up a guide on how to not get a bad end because I'm just that bad. Uh, so you can see that's bad end number one, I hope. Hopefully, maybe not. That's bad end number something. Fun. <sighs> yeah, we're back after having <laughs> messed up badly. Um, let's not talk to the painting next time. I am gonna skip this. Gonna ask you what's wrong. I wanna see the light once again. I'm gonna be smarter this time. I'm gonna realize that we have a pocket mirror, so that means there's no need for me to go out and find another mirror. How can I be so stupid? <sighs> Seriously, how? I am surprised. Oh, the eyes tell you what good things. I am surprised at my own stupidity. Sorry about that. Sirens in the UK are just like that. I hate it. I swear in Madrid, which is, you know, the capital of Spain, there's here less sirens than I do here, and they're much more manageable. Um, Let's use our pocket mirror, which is a mirror. This might work. It's just pocket mirror. I'm so stupid. Okay, have you seen the light? Thank you, miss. Now I can finally give this back to you. Oh. Acquired a red eyeball. At last, we meet again. We meet too. Please do stay away from me. Wonderful. This could have been resolved so much easier if I had just thought more with my head. God, why am I so stupid? Why? Why? Well, at least I'll be able to, like, finish right on time. Oh yeah, let's get the pumpkin charm again. Yeah, I love the spunkings. Uh, oh, did I get it? Zero charms. Oh no, I have to. Oh, I have to go back. Oh yeah, that's a pumpkin charm. I have to go back. I don't have pumpkin charms anymore. So that was a waste of time. The door is locked again. I can't get my pumpkin charms. That happens for you know. That just happens to me for being so stupid. I can keep calling myself stupid just because. Okay, weird lady. You look terrific, horrific. You look horrible. Oh, wait. You look mad. Hatred. 1844. The painting of a lady wearing an eye patch. She seems to be upset. Yeah, you wouldn't. And your sister's constantly telling people to pluck up your eye. Um, what should I do? Give her the pocket mirror. Just be careful, please. You say so cheerfully to a painting that's talking to you. Girl, do you have no common sense? I am... Am I this girl? She's got a G in her name. She's quite stupid. She looks shiny. Not as cute, but... Um, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna give you this other eye. What well, can I give? Wait, what? Well. I am now confused. I should have saved. Um, let's pluck her right out. But I already have an eye on me. Okay, so back again. Let's try this time not to bug die. 
They're tiny bugs that I can tolerate. Don't like them, bro. Just tolerate them. Okay. Seems like we don't really have a choice but to like give you the pocket mirror. Oh yeah, I need to walk away first. Yeah, I'm getting back. You are a bad person. Let's give her the pocket mirror. Because we're stupid like that, which is very realistic. Uh-huh. Oh, she has a heart. Okay. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Maybe we can, I don't know, maybe we can, maybe we can outrun it, maybe it's not a bad end, let's block her right eye out and run for it. Oh yes, I was right, um, curse you pumpkins, you are anyway. a blue eyeball. Now we have two eyeballs. I am gonna save. Yes, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna get back to pocket mirror. Well, ain't this depressing? It's got a dark house in it. Now you've done it. Um. Thank you, pumpkin. You actually had the guts to rip out her eyeball. Consider me your number one fan. I don't know if I want that type of fan. Oh, the lady's eyes have been scratched out. Oh, that's um, quite horrible, to be honest. Um. So right, from now on, I'll always be number one. This can't be. Here, I can't really talk back. Um, Sanctification 1890. The painting has been ripped apart. The lady the one sat there is no longer recognizable. I am sorry. That's what you get for being stupid. Okay, um... I'm gonna go ahead out of here because it gives me creep. I'm gonna save once again and leave it here. Saved. And I'll figure out what to do with the red eyes. Blinded sacrifice. So I'm about to just jump. Oh! Oh! The eyes go here. Okay, I'm just gonna do that before I finish. This might be a bit longer of a video than normal. But I. I. Items that a oh, red eye all to the right. You. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's gonna be a blue eyeball to the left. Insert the eyeball. We are forever grateful, miss. Yay! The pastor no longer looks so bossy. Fun! pumpkins don't have anything to say despite the fact that I'm doing such great things here. Anyway, great and stupid things. I'm gonna leave it here. Um, this video is practically me being stupid and having to redo things all over again because I am, I suck at video games but I'm great at finding bad endings so if you ever struggle getting all the bad endings in a video game just come watch my videos because I'm definitely quite good at it. Sadly. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video I make, which will probably be very soon. Goodbye!